So Spectre came out six years ago. This movie has been pushed back. God only knows how many times it's been pushed back at this point. Everyone has been anticipating this movie for, again, God knows how long. This is a movie a lot of people didn't think was going to happen after Spectre because everyone thought Daniel Craig was out. But after all this time, it is finally time to die. So for me, I've only seen the Daniel Craig Bond movies as well as the original Bond, of course, Doctor No. My plan was, I got, my mom bought me the box set for Christmas, I think it was 2019, and my plan was before this movie to watch all of them, but then I didn't. <laughs> I just really, I kept putting it on the long finger, kept putting it on the long finger. I think back in February, maybe March, I said, oh yeah, I'll start now. It's coming out and I think at this stage, it had already been pushed back to November. So I got a lot of time, so I put Dr. No in. And then I just never went back to it. It's not like I actually enjoyed Dr. No, so I don't know why I just never continued. And then, of course, the movie came out. So I quickly, in the last two weeks, I re-watched Daniel Craig's movies because it's been years. I watched them. Um, I never actually saw Quantum of Solace. When Spectre was coming out, I watched Casino Royale and Skyfall for some reason. I don't know why. I think I never even heard of Quantum of Solace. I always heard of Casino Royale and Skyfall, so I just watched those two in preparation for Spectre. But then I just never saw Spectre. So then I watched Spectre and Quantum of Solace for the first time. Now, always hearing bad things about those two. Spectre, I think, is actually good. I don't understand the hate for that movie. And uh, Quantum of Solace is terrible. So I went into this movie very excited because not only have I been seeing this trailer so much, it's ridiculous how much I've seen this trailer. Like when we sat down in the cinema, I leaned over to my girlfriend and said, do you know the best thing about this? I never have to watch the uh, trailer for this movie ever again because I am sick of watching the trailer for this movie. But also, this movie's great. I went into it excited because it's a new Bond movie. It's a new action movie. And this movie, I feel like, as I was leaving the cinema, as I was looking around, I feel like this is the movie that has just made, like, life feel like it was normal again. Like, this was, as I was leaving, I was leaving the stairs, 100 people were walking down the stairs with me. And on the other side of the stairs, there was 100 people walking up the stairs as well. It's insane. The screening after me was sold out with 150 people going to be there. This movie... It's, I haven't seen anything like this since Rise of Skywalker came out. It feels like cinema is back and Bond is the one that brought it. And I just love that the first movie that cancelled its uh, release date because of COVID feels like it's the first movie to bring things back. Black Widow, you look at Shang-Chi, Suicide Squad, A Quiet Place 2. Those brought audiences, but I feel like nothing has brought audience like Bond. But to actually talk about the movie itself... I actually loved it. My favourite Bond movie is Skyfall. And at the moment I'm contemplating whether or not I prefer Casino Royale or No Time to Die. I saw No Time to Die two days ago now. And the more I think about this movie, the more I love it. When I, uh, so I was saw it Thursday night. In Friday in work, I was talking, everyone was talking to me about it. They go, oh, watching a Bond. I was sitting there talking. People going, have you seen Bond? I like, saw it yesterday, so I ended up talking to them for like five minutes about the movie. And there was two people in particular who had already seen it. One guy I was talking for a little bit. One guy, other, the other guy I was talking to loads. I think we were standing there for about half an hour talking about the new Bond movie. Going through literally every single thing about the movie. That I loved, things that he loved, things I didn't like, things he didn't like. And by the end of it, I think we both enjoyed the movie more. Because the stuff he didn't like, I was talking to him about why I liked it. And then he came around to it and vice versa. So stuff I wasn't pushed on, I've actually come around to. So I'm not even going to talk about the stuff I didn't like. Because after talking to someone about it. I actually kind of like those things more. And the more I talk, think about this movie, I actually like it more. I'm going to try again see it on Monday. And my little brother is going to make his way through all of the Daniel Craig movies. And then we're going to go see No Time to Die again. So I'm definitely going to see it at least three times in the cinema. And I am very excited to see it again. Because honestly, Daniel Craig is brilliant in this movie. He is Bond to me. And I at the end of the movie, I said to my girlfriend, I feel bad for whoever has to follow him up. Because he is just amazing. In the role and in this movie, I just think he's brilliant. From start to finish, he is amazing in this movie. This movie has got, I think it's the funniest out of all his movies. I actually found myself laughing out loud multiple points throughout the movie. I think Q, I love Q. From the moment he was introduced to Skyfall to the last moment we see him in the movie. Because I imagine Daniel Craig's done. I imagine this is the last time we're ever going to see this version of Q again. But 
every moment of this version of Q, I have loved him. I think he's hilarious. I think he's so lovable. All of the characters, everyone, even except for um, Rami Malek as a villain. Now, personally, Rami Malek, I don't like him. I everything I've seen him in, I've seen him in the Night Museum movies. He was I saw a couple of episodes of Mr. Robot, and of course, Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie he won the Oscar for. I don't like the guy. Even I've seen him in interviews and everything. He's just very odd, and I just don't like him. So I went into this movie not really expecting much from him because, of course, I don't like him, and I really didn't like his portrayal of the villain. I feel like he himself brought nothing to this. I feel like anyone could have done that. He didn't bring any spark to it that I feel like only Rami Malek can do. If you look at Christoph Waltz, Inspector, he's barely in the movie, but every moment he's in, I think he's brilliant and even looking at his introduction i think is one of the best villain introductions we've seen and i think he's brilliant in that but rami malik i feel like he's just bland forgettable he's got a face deformity and i feel like they just did that to make him a bit more unique because rami malik literally honestly i feel like brought nothing to the movie he's barely in the movie i feel like as a villainous threat he isn't one he does something in particular in this movie that makes him stand out amongst the crowd but other than that he doesn't do anything for me to make him warrant that he's a good villain. I don't think he's a good villain. Don't really like him as a villain. And I feel like besides that one thing, I'm not going to think about him again. Also, the new 007, a lot of people were hating on her because people were like, oh my god, they made James Bond a woman. No, they didn't make James Bond a woman. They just gave her James Bond's title because he retired. He retired, someone has to take his job. So, of course, she came in and took his job. And... I don't care that she took her job. I just didn't like the character. I found the character to be extremely irritating. And she was very cocky. But it wasn't cocky in a like a fun way. She was cocky in an irritating way. And everything she went about. I just found her very irritating. All of the action scenes. I thought the action in this movie was honestly fantastic. So many different types of action throughout this movie. So many different settings of this movie if you look at spectre i feel like at some points there was different landscapes just to have different landscapes but this one you're in different atmospheres different locations and i loved them all in this movie i thought the movie was shot gorgeously honestly no time to die i think stands out amongst the bond movies not only is it daniel craig's final movie but a part of me thinks it's his best performance as bond i think he gave it his all in this movie i think he knew that this is my last performance. I'm going to go out on a high note. I'm going to go out on top. And I think he did. I think this is a phenomenal performance in Daniel Craig. I think this is a phenomenal Bond movie. I am very, very excited to see it again. I cannot wait to see it again. I know for a fact this is going to be one I'm going to be picking up day one on 4K. I've got the Dan I've got the James Bond 24 collection. And beside that is going to be no time to die on 4K. I cannot wait to watch this movie again. Let me know your thoughts on it though in the comment section down below did you love it did you hate it do you disagree with me or do you agree with me let me know all that in the comment section down below if you want to see future content from me as well click that subscribe button and as always thanks for watching